Yo, what up? Yo, what up? It's me, Web Weaver. Actual underscore. Actual underscore. Actual underscore. Uh, all enemies attack. And then, uh, I don't know, Imperial Soldier was pretty good last time. We can probably just leave this on auto battle. You're just gonna die in like two seconds. Yeah, you're just gonna die in like two seconds. Oh shit, they're alive. Oh, you're casting Blizzard, right? I would hope so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Something about playing this video game is always like... I'm not entirely sure where we're going or what we're doing, but there's a thing here. We can go check this out. You ever wanted to check this out? The Opera House. The Opera House is close. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna go here then. Oh, whoops. I went back in the Opera House. We're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go this way. Ah ha ha! Well, you look at that. Um, yeah, Imperial Soldier, and then probably just, uh, here, let, let's do, I, I see it, it's in the goddamn bottom right corner above Locke's energy bar. Unbelievable. <laughs> just let Gao kill them all. Uh, and then... Ah, oh, you can't all target Imp. I don't know how good status... Uh, the thing is, about old JRPGs that I do know, is I don't know how good, um, like, status... Like, inflicting status ailments is, because a lot of the time, and I don't know if it's this game, to be fair, but a lot of the time, the bosses are immune to the status ailments. Wait, are these three individual areas that we can go into? Hold on. No, it's the same place no matter what. Okay. Uh, give me a Chocobo. Let, let's go Chocobo Gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 250 gil for a Chocobo ride. I want to go explore. Uh, and hopefully not, uh... Die in the process. But, you know, I... Locke is apparently drunk right now. Zozo. Zozo? Never heard of it. Wait, what? Wait! What do you mean, Hill Guidus? What the hell? Um, you know, Magitek armor. What? Did you just use a potion? Y you wouldn't have good shit to steal, would you? Probably need to do like a... Silver Spectacles, this guy's got good shit. You were stealing from me! That's how homie got the godforsaken, uh... We need to kill this guy! That's how he got the goddamn high potion, he got it from me! Uh, we'll use group cure in a second. Uh, I don't know if, uh, Locke's gonna live that long. See, my dog is very scared for Locke right now. Which, I mean, that's fair. I don't... I, I do want to do a test to see if, like, single target cure is more potent. Oh, now these are the EXP gains. Uh, we need to heal a lock. Uh, we need to heal a lock. Thank you. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Absolutely goaded. I cannot believe we're just getting attacked on the goddamn streets. This dude's dead! I don't know if we want to go into this bar. Of course we can get into a pub fight. Of course there's this dickhead here. I mean, I'll steal from you. Absolute piece of junk. Couldn't steal. I'll kill you. Hit him with the Magitek laser. 
You punk. That's one round of combat from two people hitting you. And apparently, this son of a bitch has incredible evade. Holy shit, he does DPS too. I am interested to see if this does more than 170, because that's what it was doing as an AoE. We don't get it. No, we don't. But you know, you know what? That's fine. We can just go to abilities. We can just go to cure. You can hit yourself with it. That's fine. Who cares? Magic's OP. Yo, what's up? The second hand on my watch is pointing at 30. Oh god, not another clock puzzle. Look, this building is so goddamn long just because you can do random encounters in here. <laughs> the Veil Dancer. Oh my god, Shadowbringer's reference. I really need to fi figure out which one of these forms is the AoE form. Because Magitek Laser just hits one person. It's pretty good, though. I mean, Gao's just gonna keep going. Damn, that's a... Veil Dancer kind of tanky. Uh, we're gonna have to res Gao real quick. Sickle. Uh, Phoenix Down. I'm glad Phoenix Down is the default thing that shows up. They can use multiple high potions? We do need AoE. These scumbags! <laughs> Okay, we're gonna use Cure the entire party. Doesn't really work on, uh, Homie who's face-planted into the ground. But that's okay. Oh my god. Toggling auto-battle just to increase the, uh... Let's kill this guy. Let's beat him to death with Mithril Daggers. Okay. Items. The Phoenix down. Thank you. And now we're gonna go cure posting for a little bit. We're gonna go cure posting. Oh my god, Locke has 500 health. Holy shit. So we, we got some things. The silver spectacles prevents darkness. And then we got Another Silver Spectacles, and a Barrier Ring, Magic Plus 2. I wonder who that's for. Oh, but she's already got earrings. I don't know what, um... I mean, I guess we could just wear the, uh... The Mithril Glove. Nothing wrong with that. What what is this James Bond ass theme? Nice. Oh my god. Uh let's try the Hornet. Why not? That's pretty cool. Now, is this gonna do more than... Never mind. I keep try. I, I keep trying to use Cure. I, I keep... I It's look who it is. I keep trying to use Cure. It really is. It's look who it is. But, um... Uh-oh. Are these doors or windows? I'm pretty sure these are doors, but they gotta look like windows. The door is shut. Am I cracked? Am I insane? And obtained an ether? Are, are you- are you- is this a joke? Is this an out-of-season April Fool's joke? What? Uh, how about a Zagram? 
I'm interested in what is what a Zagrim does. Oh, Locke's gonna die. Hold on. Uh, high potion for my for my boy in chat. Stone white mage po. Holy shit! Why isn't stone that goddamn powerful? In Final Fantasy XIV, that's that's stone one. Holy shit, he's going crazy. I mean, I just want this guy dead, to be honest with you. Um, they're, they're using the Mithril Knives a little bit too much. Uh-oh. Ah, Stone Mist. I mean, I need to do AoE healing, so... Will this do more than 170 if I single target it? It probably will. How will I know? I wonder if there's a way to... It might be a little redundant. Oh, target all! Holy! This game is crazy. Why did I come up here? Is that... <laughs> I just... Why are there corpses everywhere? Why? What is this place? What is this horrible place? I don't know. Go back to being a Zagram for a little bit. That shit was cool. No! I didn't want to do that! Oh. Okay, it does. Well, we, we have our answer. We have our answer, chat. It does. Now, can I target Gao this time? Hopefully. There we go. Will Gao live to see the end? Probably not. That's his whole goddamn health bar. It's so unhinged that they have like a random chance of doing like... Yeah, we'll do entire party there. It's so unhinged that they just have like a random chance of throwing like a mithril knife that does like 200 damage and their autos do like 40. That's so funny. It means that these dickheads have to die. You know what? Give me that high potion. I see that high potion in your in your hands. Give it to me. Couldn't steal, sad. Whoa, rock be upon ye. Is stone AoE? It said miss. I mean, we love leveling up. Okay, get me out of this godforsaken building. His watch, his other watch says the 30, by the way. Oh, no. The cobbledygook! You know what? Cloud. I do wish there was, like, a way to look at this, because it really is just I feel like I'm gambling. And this isn't World of Horror. This is not the gambling arc. Watch the World of Horror series. Thundera. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I like what Cloud can do. You know, normally when I think of Final Fantasy Cloud, I think of something else. Because even though I've never played that game, I know who that is. Bro's, Bro's the Smash Bros guy. He's in Smash. I... This is an inn, allegedly, but there was nothing nice about it. Just somebody dead up here. Look! Yo, you got some cider, bro? This place is dangerous and don't do anything stupid like trying to jump in between the, between the buildings? Oh, God. Is this even safe? Oh, no. It's the inn, by the way. Why did I come here? What? 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 Uh, you know what? Uh, the were rat. Cloud was pretty good. Zagram was pretty good. Cloud was nice AoE. Let's see what Were Rat does. I mean, it's a giant rat who makes all the rules poison, huh? Uh, pretty, pretty feeling pretty mid about this one, chat. What the hell? What was that? Three hundred and seventy-two poison damage.
That does not take a lot of mana at all. Fox hands have stopped. Set the hour hand. Oh. Well. Bro's second watch said 30. So we've got, like, a pretty decent idea of uh, what's going on here. Oh, where the hell am I? Oh, don't wander into the back streets. It's Hill Gygus. It's your boy, Hill Gygus. Uh, Cartagra. I, re I remember there was one that we just kind of, like, randomed into that was, like, awesome. Oh, that removes the imp target status, doesn't it? Holy... The status effects are good against random enemies, against gobbledygooks, but, like, you know... How good are they against, uh, bosses? Probably not good at all. Miss, 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 miss. The strongest Kappa known to man. Oh my god. Thank god we applied the poison status effect, or this shit would, uh... She's got to heal herself. All right, we have a way, we have a reliable way of dealing with ya boy Imp Gygus. It is a little rude to just keep spamming magic spells, I suppose. There's just more dead people. This place sucks. All right. I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, it's Hill Gigas. Hey, look, everybody, it's Hill Gigas. It's look, it's, it's look, it's Hill Gigas. I mean, I kind of want to choose the poison thing again, but we'll try a hornet, because what could possibly go wrong? Um... Goodbye, Hill Gygus. The Iron Stinger. Wait, no, hold on. We need to make sure that Selyse is attacking and then we can auto-battle it for 80 years. There we go. It's look who it is. All right, there's definitely not a girl at the top floor, so don't even bother looking. Wait, what the hell? It's already 12? Great people here, you can trust everything they say. What? Huh? So 12... And then the second hand is 30. Um, great people. You can trust everything they say. Are they going to come back? I didn't even realize what was happening. Time, you say? It's four. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's 12, it's four, it's... Oh, Jesus. You know what? What's the worst that could happen? A Bellamadar. You're goddamn right, it's a Bellamadar hours. Couldn't steal, sad. There's only one of them. You can keep stealing if you want to. If that's what Auto Battle says to do, just keep stealing. Didn't get the chance, homie. Please! How long do we have to keep this up? Okay. It's 4 p.m. It's 
It's 4 p.m. Don't listen to the others. Trust me, it's 8. Oh, it's 10. So, 4, 4, 8, 10. It's already 12. It's 2. Great people here. You can trust everything they say. Well, I want to cry myself to sleep. Are you... Oh, helpful old man, are you gonna t tell me which one is the, um... Holy, uh... Exocyte, go! Magic, pure, lock, please. Never mind. Lock, just kneel on the ground and be like... Close to death, please. Alright, there we go. Feeling pretty good about that. Uh, hey, no cutting, get in line. Don't worry, we just have to try, like, five different combinations. Well, I mean, it was four. I, it was going in in a, in, in integers or the words are hard. It was going in two hour uh, whatchamacallits. So theoretically, if we get the first clock number, then we're fine. Because then we can just uh, go through uh, and just kind of go down the list, you know? You can just kill him. Probably don't need Blizzard. But, you know. So yeah, if we, if we get the first hand time... What if, what if we get here first? We're, we're, the, we're the first person here. No, nobody has, uh, gotten here before us, okay? Uh, you know what? What if we were Exocyte Gaming? And what if... Never mind. It's so Never mind. Hey, no cutting, get in line. How long do we have to keep this up? Oh, watch out. Might be a, uh, a Hill Gigas. Might be a Hill Gigas. Uh, look, it's Hill Gigas, everybody. Imp. Uh, you know what? What if we were to Silver Lobo? I know what a Lobo is. That was a Dawn Trail crafting material. Lobo Hide. Wait, hold on. Don't want to auto battle the the imp thing. Just want to auto battle a basic attack if you if you please, if it please you. Chomp. Well, homie is schmoving. Oh my god. I want to see everybody make this jump. This is like one of the most insane things I've ever seen, honestly. We're we're playing Dying Light, we're playing Mirror's Edge, we're playing all sorts of Oh, she's out of mana. You know what? Let's go back to laser beams, please. Magitek laser seems to go off pretty fast. I'm gonna be honest. 50 damage on your auto attack is not that bad. So I'm partially wondering if uh, it has like some super attack that does like 400 damage or something if you don't block it. And by turning it into a Kappa, 
you know. You know, we were getting by without a magic user for a while without being able to spam a uh, cure. So I think we can dip into our supplies if you catch my drift here. Our high potion supplies. Okay. It's only the uh, the highlighted windows that we can jump through, which makes sense. I just love walking into a room that is n literally nothing. Oh! I love walking into a room that's literally nothing, and it is just a box that is blocking the door, and there's no door to block either. A me and Angel Whisper Rutsu. If I remember correctly, that's the gravity one? Wum, 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 wum. Yeah, gravity... I'm pretty sure somebody explained how gravity worked. And I was not paying attention. But gravity's pretty cool. I like gravity. Big fan of gravity. I think we'll still probably do an all-party cure after this fight. Just because... Oh. Um, the monster that Gao was imitating, could that have been undead, perhaps? Hmm. How curious. Yeah, we should probably, uh... Watch out, everybody. It's Hill Gigas. Oh my god, I, I was like, what the hell? How on earth is this gonna work? What is, what is this? What is happening? I, we're just gonna beat it to death with hammers, I don't care. Uh-oh, Angel Whisper again. That doesn't sound so good. Oh god, the last action she did was healing. It remembers what was the last action she took in a fight. Yo, what up? My watch's second hand is pointing at the four. Oh, no. Wait, set, was, was the first guy second watch is pointing at the 30, and then his watch's second... Oh. His watch's second hand is pointing at the four. I should probably write this down. Second hand pointing at four. So what do we have right now? 430? I don't know how you imitate an Imperial soldier without a gun, but uh, apparently fire works. I... My watch's second hand is pointing at four. That's pretty real. Everybody should just be on attack mode right now, so just gonna beat them to death with hammers. Nothing, nothing too crazy about that. The seconds, they're divisible by 20. I need to write this down. I, I knew that this puzzle was going to be annoying the moment, the nanosecond. Making a note on my phone. Final FF6 puzzles. What was that? The seconds, they're divisible by 20. The seconds are divisible by 20... And then my watch's second hand is pointing at four. Oh, jeez. I honestly might brute force <laughs> might brute force this. Wee. Why is this pink? Uh, pink. Uh, 
What? Why is this pink? Is there something to do here? I don't know. Yippee! Bow, bow. I don't... Oh my god. You know that they were just giggling when they were creating this area because they're like, we can just make so many floors and just put random encounters in here. It'd be so funny. It'd be so funny, guys, like as a joke, you know? Like as, as a little bit of humor. Just as a little bit of entertainment, even. Long hallways. Beautiful rug, by the way. All right, the ascent begins. I'll take a free box. Burning Fist! You wanna, you wanna talk about what the Burning Fist is? I don't know what it is. Knuckles infused with the power of flames. They, must, they may cast fire upon striking the enemy. That's awesome. I don't think anybody in the party can currently use that. But that's really cool. Why do you not have a relic? You should have a relic. Yeah, you, you got the peace ring lock. You deserve inner peace. Watch out, it's the Gobbledygook Squad. Uh, I think Cloud was like AoE, right? And then we can probably just uh, send them to hell with uh, Thundara and uh, all enemies Blizzard. Golden Wrench. Bro is gonna hit me with a minus 10 damage. Gonna hit me with Dismantle. Gonna throw the wrench like they're mitigating. What brings you up here on this fine day? Do you need to get through here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be in the way. I'm not very strong in a fight, and I hate for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? What the hell? Um, I don't know, a Bellamidar. Not, uh, not too good with a, uh... I want to make sure everybody's at full health or, like, close to full health. Just in case homie decides to do, like, 200 damage out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Although, maybe they weren't lying. Maybe we're supposed to run. We did just kind of attack them out of nowhere. Seems pretty rude. Oh, that's what Gao's been casting. Protect. Oh, shit. The homies. You know, I gotta admit, they climbed this tower impressively fast. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Huh. Well, uh, we're gonna want a Phoenix down on lock because he'll be able to use an item, which will preferably be a high potion. And, uh, you know... Just keep dodging, I guess. Uh, high potion on himself. And then cure on both of them. Homie brought in new ads? Before we were able to even... Hasn't used a potion in a while. Just gotta rem remind him that we're here. I mean, honestly, if he did use a potion, that would buy us a lot of time. Uh, yeah, you can use that. Okay. So, hopefully, 
he doesn't throw the mithril knives again. I'm pretty sure the mithril knives are supposed to be, like, you know. Oh god, this shit takes so long to cast. We, we gotta make sure that Sellys does not die. She's not gonna fully heal herself. She also should probably drink an ether, depending on how long this fight goes. Oh shit, this is the cloud is single target? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, because the guys that we're attacking will get, like, you know, kicked out and cycled out for new homies. Nice? Hit him with the taser? Oh, shit. You have a- you have a consumable knife that you threw at the squad? Guess what, homie? I mean... I don't know how to feel about that one. Let's see. Slightly worse attack, but evasion and higher agility. A knife that sometimes steals from the enemy. I don't know, the... The moon blade kind of goes hard, but I do like the idea that it... Oh, but it gives a lot... It gives a lot of evasion. You know what? I think we gotta go Thieves Knife. Locke needs to not get hit by things. Do we even go in here? You can't go in there. Zozo Flora 16. I want to point out how far we've climbed. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a ether just to kind of keep the mana up a little bit. And then we're going to do a little nice cure. I mean, free items? I can't wait for it to be a mimic and we all die. One of my favorite things about how this game handles uh, auto-saving is um, how you can just open every chest, and if you die to a Mimic, then you can just spawn right before you open the chest. And it's like, well... <laughs> I mean, we found her! I mean, we found her! Terra? Terra? Is she just gonna look like this for the rest of the game? In her, like, uh... Ramu, she's frightened. Holy shit, it's Ramu! <laughs> is that a Final Fantasy XIV reference? This girl is your friend, I presume. Tara, is she alright? So her name is Tara. Tara. Interesting. Uh-oh. Holy shit! I thought she was going to crash through the goddamn wall. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for I myself, as for myself, I am Ramu, the Esper Ramu. You're an Esper? Don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from <laughs> living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you, without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Why hide the fact that you're an Esper? Didn't Espers cause, like, war? Humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. But my grandma told me that humans and Espers once lived side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. No, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and Espers used to live together in harmony, at least until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi. It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other Espers. Getting an Echo flashback vision, let's go. 
After that meaningless war had ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They feared that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But then, one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm, humans who knew of Espers and their powers. And thus began the hunt, for Gestal, the leader of men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army. The dog Gestal? The little poodle that's in the paintings? As soon as we realized what was happening, we erected a mass gate and forced the humans out. All the other ones have been automatic. I don't know why it's hanging on this one for so long. <laughs> I love how we're talking about this while Terra is just face planted onto the ground. Those who were captured are still held in the Empire's Magitech research facility, being drained of their powers. I narrowly escaped that same fate, and now I am here with you. <laughs> she seems to have calmed down a little. I called Tara here to me when I sensed that she'd lost control. She responded to that call. Ramu, why do you live in hell? So Tara's an Esper? I mean, she's like an experiment, right? Like, I thought that was the whole point. She was like a soldier of the Empire, and she has magical abilities. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. What can we do to help her? Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind who are trapped in Gestalt's magic research facility may be able to help her. And if we can get inside that facility, you're sure we'll find them? The Magitech research facility? Your people are in there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward, but I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Gestal's methods are mistaken. He knows only to drain an Esper's power by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we come... Magicite? Only when we become Magicite can our strength be transferred in full. About to... stab somebody with a giant-ass crystal? What are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magicite so I can lend you my strength. Magicite? Magicite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that's left behind. But... Wait, is this how we do summons? Like, we'll be able to summon Ramu as a special attack? These are my companions who fell as we fled to the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. He didn't tell us how to use this power, though. And I like how we're getting four of them, because we could have four party members. You're really gone, aren't you? He turned himself into Magicite. He gave up his life to help us. Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. This must not become a second War of the Magi. Obtained Ramu Magicite. Obtained Kate Sith Magicite. Siren Magicite. Kirin Magicite. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> the cider, the key item. Um, where, where do we keep the Magicites? Bathes all enemies in lightning. Holy Aura gradually restores the party's HP. 
Silences lunatic voice, silences all enemies, confuse cat rain, confuses all enemies. No, no, it can't be raining cats. Shut up. No, no, I, no, I can't escape. Your mincemeat. My ring. Tara, wait for us. We'll be back for you. We're just going to leave her here. There are hill gyguses walking outside. Oh, hey, hey, how's it going? Everyone's here? I was just thinking, let's talk on the way back down. Are you telling me the clock puzzle is optional? Thank God. So the Empire's been draining magic from espers. So we were supposed to bring these two, I assume. That's why they're here. <laughs> so, Lise, was all of that true? Wait, so we could have brought in a full party? Oh, gosh darn it. I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure. But I've heard rumors to that effect. Ooh, I wonder what Esper Salise was infused with. That's actually that's actually really cool. I want somebody to take the hook down, honestly. I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We best split up again. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narsh. I'm gonna take four people this time. That would indeed be wise. Give me my freaking auto crossbow spam. I'll go to the Empire. I know it inside and out. But alone? Don't worry. I'll go with her. Locke. Hey, listen. Locke is basically Thancred. Like, he can just do whatever the hell he wants. Might I advise going in greater number? <laughs> oh, please form one party. Good gal in here. Bros just does a crazy damage. Give me give me my auto crossbow, please, for the love of God, give me my auto crossbow. I need my auto crossbow. Also, this is like the party that we've been rocking with for 80 years. That's so funny. We're just using the same party every single time. Honestly, if we're ever forced to play as the other characters, we might need to like turn the EXP modifier on and just run around in the op overworld for them. If we need to change party members, I guess we'll have to head back to Narsh. How are we going to get there? The Empire's on the southern continent, but they've closed all the harbors and no ships are permi permitted to leave the port. The town of Jador to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them might know a way in. Where there's Gil? Lock, yeah? Why are you coming with me? Hmm? Well, there's this rumor about legendary treasure hitting, hidden in Imperial territory. I thought I might have a look around. Wink. What the f- It seems you have some magicite. Want to learn more about the Esper? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? To use an Esper, you must first equip it by selecting Espers from the Abilities menu. To summon the Esper in battle, select the name of the Esper by scrolling to the top of the magic command. You can only call upon each Esper once per battle. When an Esper is equipped to someone, that character will learn spells over time. The set of spells- each Esper teaches is different. The higher a spell's acquisition rate, the faster it will be memorized. Some Espers also permanently increase an attribute like Strength, Magic, or HP, or MP when the character who has them equipped gains a level. That's crazy. Uh, okay. Uh, Espers. What do you... Um, I don't know. Does it tell you what... who does what? Oh, here we go. Thunder, Thundara, Poison. At level up plus one stamina. Kirin. Um. Cure. Cure. Regen. Poisona. And Libra. But what's the level up? What's the level up? Nothing? Siren. At level up HP. Sleep, silence, slow fire. Kate Sith. Magic. Float. So, you're going to equip Kate Sith for the magic. Oh, wait, hold on. HP is from Siren. Um, I don't know, you? You want HP? Or do you want stamina? You want HP. You can have Siren. Um, stamina, and then just, like, a bunch of shit. I mean, I think you're too, like, 
you're just gonna want to hit auto crossbow literally every turn. But like, just in case, you can have cure. And then, uh, Gao, I don't know if you can use Ramu, but just in case, there you go. Maybe we can use, like, Ramu once and then go into rage mode? <laughs> uh. Okay, now you're getting a double episode here. So, we go on. We continue to ball. Um. But I'm gonna take a little quick break here. So, for you, it'll be but a moment. But for me, it'll be more than a moment. For you, it was but a moment. But for me, it was quite a while. Um. We gotta break into the Empire, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know how to feel about this. We're we're on we're on the warpath. We're on an adventure. Uh, we need to level up uh, Edgar as soon as goddamn possible. Also, where is the Empire? <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta uh, the the rich aristocrats. Where there's a where there's guild, there's a way. Uh, tools. Uh, auto crossbow. Go. Uh, magic. Cannot use magic. Alright. Um. Magitech armor, I suppose. Uh, magic? Cannot use magic. Fair enough. Uh, magic. Can use magic. Interestingly enough. I don't know why I'm using Blizzard. It doesn't matter. Stone! Take him down. Shoot to kill. Holy crap, you're almost dead. <laughs> uh, do we have a regular potion? I don't think we do. I guess in that case, I would rather use cure? Um, so we basically need to... There was like an auction house, right? I'm trying to remember, there was some sort of like, uh fancy house. I'm pretty sure this is not it. Welcome. Aha! Potion time. Uh, yeah, we need to buy... Holy shit, this is expensive. Yeah, we should probably just mostly buy and use high potions, if we're being 100% honest here. Makes sense to me. Do we have any gear for our boy Edgar? The Mithril Spear, the Rune Blade. I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of uh, auto crossbow. So I think the evasion is fine. Mithril Shield casts haste on the wearer. I mean, we should probably uh, prevent confusion if that's possible. We can prevent petrification, and we were already preventing poison. Um, okay, that doesn't affect our movement speed. Haste must be uh, another episode of its look who it is. Is this the... Uh, there's like an auction house, right? Maria the Opera House Diva. Today's auction is over. Okay. No one would be crazy enough to go to the Imperial Continent unless they had no choice. The only way to reach the Empire now is by air. Of course, you need an airship. What? Do you think I was going to suggest launching yourself from a catapult? I mean, listen, we went under the goddamn ocean, so theoretically speaking... Maria... M me Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Still, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh dear, we're really in trouble this time. Maria the opera singer? <laughs> Did she just do like a pose? <laughs> You're the spitting image of Maria, huh? Haven't you heard? She's a famous opera singer. Is this famous opera singer going to, by any chance? It appears to be a lamp.
it, it, is Maria by any chance going to the uh, Gestalian Empire for a performance, perhaps? That would be uh, awfully convenient. The man must have dropped this. That man is the director of the troupe that performs at the Opera House. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He's been in a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Dearest Maria, I've decided to take you as my wife, so I'll be... <laughs> Wandering what's-his-face. Were you born on a farm, son? Listen, the gambler is uh, not a fella you want to run into, let me tell you what. A gambling vagabond who finds freedom from society's narrow views of morality. Aboard his airship, the Blackjack. Oh, well, it's it's your boy Setzer. Well, I thought we were going to pose as Maria for the purpose of um, the owner of the world's only airship. I thought Celise was going to pose as Maria for, you know, the purpose of uh, singing at the opera. And maybe the opera troupe would travel to the Gestalian Empire. But uh, I see where this is going. If we had that airship, we'd have to, we'd have to our way into the Empire. Let's set up a meeting with this Setzer. Would you happen to know how to do that? Uh, we'll go to the opera house. It's fine. We'll go to the opera house. It's fine. We'll go on a little devious adventure. Oh, this is the auction, sorry. Oh, we have to travel to the opera house, okay. Yeah, 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 I remember, I remember, I remember. Let's hire a chocobo. Let's speed on. Actually, no, Edgar needs EXP. We're probably not gonna get a lot of EXP from this, like the general party, but Edgar probably will get EXP, I hope. Or maybe there'll just be no, okay, thank you. I was gonna say there's just no encounters here, like, at all. Tools, auto crossbow. We'll probably just leave them on auto attack, you know? Getting our ass beat. Thank you for the Thundaras in the chat. Oh, we'll just leave them on auto attack. Ah, it's you again. We read that letter, so Setzer is coming to snatch Maria away. He'll probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves to make an entrance. Perfect. When he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him. Dear me, no. You'll ruin the performance. I'll lose my job. But if you don't do anything... Do you see my conundrum? I want the performance to be a success, but I don't want Maria to be abducted. Well, if only you had a, a Maria lookalike right in front of you. Bro had a question mark fly above his head. We'll use a decoy. Once he's got her, we'll follow him right back to his airship. And if all goes well, we should be able to commandeer it. Are you mad? <laughs> That's why we use the decoy. We can hide Maria someplace safe. Rose finger wagon? You said yourself that Celise looks like Maria. Now, just a minute. She can be our Maria. We'll let Sits. <laughs> we'll let Setzer kidnap her and lead us to his airship. Marillant! <laughs> Hold on, I'm a former general, not some opera floozy. Oh god! Maria. That's the spirit. Oh, God. Just like Setzer, it'll be tons of fun. Gao, don't pick up that letter. 
Better get to work. We gotta make a star out of you, Celise. Isn't anyone gonna read it? No. What the hell is happening in this game? Oh, no one is gonna read it. It's the- it's opera time! I th okay, we're above them all? So we got the highest seats in the opera house. Bro, that guy's going crazy. Waving the... I don't know what that's called. The war between the East and the West was growing more violent by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his love, Maria, back at home. The conductor's going crazy with his conducting stick. Oh my god, it's him. It's Draco. It's Mr. Final Fantasy. John Draco. Trying to get the splatter kill in Halo 3 with the mongoose. Oh shit, we got a musical number. Oh Maria! I mean... I mean, the first thing that I do when I get a concussion is think about my- my way. <laughs> Bro is the horror game protagonist. We'll go into the foggy town looking for wife. Um, do you, do you expect me to know where to go? Go on, give her some encouragement. Oh, wow. Pretty song. Pretty song. I'm gonna go check on things in the dressing room. Oh, I hope this works. I, where am I supposed to go? You expect me to be able to navigate this place? Like, properly? No, not this way. The performance is underway? I, true, true. <laughs> Ultros picked up the goddamn letter. Is this Maria or Celise? Have you always been that pretty? Locke, why did you stand up for me when you did? Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing while I lose the girls I like. Am I just a replacement for her? Bro is still blushing. I have to go on stage soon? The next scene's an important one. Maria starts to worry that something's happening to Draco and pours her feelings into song. Shouldn't you check the score one last time? Read the score? Oh no. Oh hero, my beloved, shall we still be- I'm- do I have to write this down? Do I do, do I have to perform as Celise? Oh hero my beloved, shall we still be made to part through though promises of perennial love yet s sing here in my heart. I'm the darkness, you're the starlight shining brightly from afar. Through hours of despair I offer this prayer to you my evening star. Must my final vows exchange be with him and not with you? Were you only here to quiet my fear? Oh speak, guide me anew. This is where you pick up the flowers, climb the stairs, and toss the bouquet from the highest balcony. Climb the stairs, toss the bouquet from the highest. Be sure to finish this by the end of the interlude. Scene two. 
Oh god, do I have to remember this? Do I have to remember this chat? I don't know if I... I... Do, do I have to remember this chat? Oh, I, I, do I need to write this down? Okay, I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna... Top balcony. Throw the bouquet from the top bal- Climb the stairs, throw the bouquet from the top balcony. It is what it is, chat. We're, we're gonna quick save to make sure that we do this properly, yes. If I have to remember the actual lyrics, I'm screwed. I'm not dedicating that to- I'm not dedicating that to memory. The 3D render castle. The western armies were defeated and Maria's castle fell into the hands of the east. Forced to wed the eastern prince Rolfs, Maria still thinks only of Draco, and she gazes at the stars each night. Oh my hero. Oh my hero, my beloved, shall we sail beneath the moon? Locked in. The promises of perennial love, yet seen here in my heart. I'm the darkness. This scene is insane for that stage, by the way. The production value is through the goddamn roof. And stairs. Climb the stairs, top balcony. Climb the stairs, top balcony. Climb the stairs, top balcony, top balcony chat, top balcony! I pressed A. I saw A, I pressed A. I pressed X, actually, but... I have performance anxiety, okay? Wait, 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 wait. I am thankful, my beloved, for your tenderness and grace. I see in your eyes so gentle and wise, all doubts and fears erased. And then crashed through the roof. I mean, banger alert, right? Uh, is the guy just gonna crash through the roof? Like, how how is he gonna kidnap her? Prince Rolfs is looking for his dance partner. Please leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now. Bro, if Prince Rolfs heard that and then he was like, yeah, I still want a dance partner, quote unquote, be the most heartless bastard of all time. Like, where's your appreciation for, uh, for absolute cinema, huh? These sets are crazy. Can you imagine, like, setting this shit up in between the curtains being pulled? 
Like, how do you get those pillars there? They made out of goddamn styrofoam? How did we do the castle scene? You were wonderful, Celise. I owe you guys one, so I'm gonna jam up your opera, Altros. Uh-oh, better tell- <laughs> Do we have a goddamn Altros boss fight? Also, what happens if we didn't bring Celise? Can you not bring Celise? I guess it's entirely possible. But I think Locke and Celise were selected by default. How did Altros get in the audience? How did Altros get near the stage? Don't you have security? The Western survivors attack! Impossible! Oh, please tell me we're gonna have a, like, combat on the stage. That'd be so good. Oh, the Western army is purple. Strike him down, kill him. Prince in shambles. <laughs> I was, if he just pulled out like an auto crossbow and shot him and it's like, I can make that happen. Also, why do you have to do a duel? Just like kill him. Just cheat. Just fight dirty. Just murder him. Just beat him to death with hammers. How is he planning to disrupt the opera? With that? Oh my god, it's fear and hunger? Let's see if Maria can shrug this off. I, Celise could probably survive that, yeah. Oh my god. This thing is heavier than I thought. It's gonna take me five minutes to push this thing off. We haven't a second to lose. Talk to the stagehand in the room up to the right. He'll help you get up there. Leave it to us. Oh my god, we have a five minute timer. Five minutes remaining. Yo, bro, we gotta get up there. Lower the switch on the far right, but don't touch any of the others. The door to the room on the left-hand side of the stage should be open now. You can get up to the catwalks from there. Go, 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 go! Move, move, move! There was a sprint button. I don't remember what it was. Holy shit! Holy shit! Zooming. Oh no, the, the rats are real. Uh, tools, auto crossbow, uh, rage, uh, cloud, and then, uh, cannot use magic. That's true. I mean, we just need to auto crossbow if you don't mind. These rats should not be able to live the thunder. There's no way. Bacteria! What do you mean there's multiple waves of the rats? Can you imagine being in the audience and then you just have, like, uh, like rat corpses falling on you? Holy shit, they're aggressive! I mean, I don't have anything to say to you. I'm just, just auto-attack, auto-battle it. Just auto crossbow them. Go cloud mode. Zap them all. Maybe Gao is not the best person to pick here because he does require like a shit ton of setup. The rats are the rats are back. 
But I think we picked a team that has decent AoE. Oh, what do you mean, single target thunder? What the heck? We're wasting so much time on rats? Can't jump across? Go, go, go! No! Preemptive strike! Go, go, go! I wish Locke had an AoE. I don't know if he has magic yet. Locke learned sleep. Can I pause? Yeah, the time. Okay, we have. Uh, we can pause the time. Uh. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're almost there. We're almost there, chat. I don't think sleep is very helpful, so just keep shooting them with auto crossbow and cloud. Just keep zapping them. Just keep sending them. We did run the wrong way temporarily, but that's not a big deal. Stole high potion. Oh, thank you, Thief Dagger. I really appreciate it. Go, 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 go. Oh, rats. <laughs> We are going to do a fight on the stage against Ultra. <laughs> I mean, you're about to see some real goddamn violence, crowd. Oh no, this will never do. With those two flattened, there's no one to win the girl. How can the story possibly continue? With those two flattened. Locke has an idea. Neither Draco nor Rouse will win Selyse's hand. It is I, Locke, the world's premier adventurer who shall take her as my wife. Oh dear, what dreadful acting. Silence, knave, you stand in the presence of octopus royalty, a low-born thief like you could never defeat me. I challenge you to a duel. Huh? Might as well make the most of this. Music! Selyse is not gonna fight? Long time no see. I mean, we can try poisoning, but, uh... Yeah, sure, Thunder, why not? It'll be fun. Eh, not worth it. I think we just auto-crossbow for 80 years, right? Uh, and then we go into... I don't know, uh... Uh, Exocyte mode. As like a little treat. I mean, it's not like every uh, we were waiting on anybody here. Oh, I would have liked to defend, maybe. Level three, confuse. Uh, let's see. Um, um. Cures darkness, cures poison, cures petrification, cures silence, uh, cures zombie. Do we really not have a single thing for confusion? Really? Okay. Nothing to steal. Whoa! I mean, Locke, you are gonna... You're locked in. I, for one. I mean, we, we can just use high potions to make sure that nobody dies to, uh... Uh... Fire. That didn't hurt. Edgar, can you make sure that uh, Gao does not die to confuse level 3 pin self pincer, please? Imp, buddy, pal! 
Oh, you're enraged, aren't you? Here's petrification, silence, darkness, empty stomach. Uh, did I just use the only one? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, uh, you, you can go ahead and attack there, that's fine. You can be an item bot, that's okay. Uh, how about you use a high potion on yourself? And then you use a high potion on yourself. And then, uh, Edgar, you're gonna use a high potion on Gal. Uh, thwart it again. Thwart it again. I feel like such a sucker. Thwart it again, chat. Thwart it again. No EXP, by the way. Hold it right there. Well, well, well. If it isn't, it's look who it is. My compliments on a most impressive performance. That violence almost seemed real. Setzer, I'm a man of my word. What? Unforeseen twists at every turn. Just as we think Maria is to become Locke's new bride, she's dragged off by Setzer instead. What fate lies in store for her now? Be sure to come back and see part two. I... this shit's unhinged, honestly. Will the, will the real Maria please stand up? Don't worry, I'll give you plenty of attention later. That's so fucked up. Well, all you have to do is kill him. Wink to the camera. All you have to do is kill him, and then you can take the airship. Breaking in so we can break out? It's true. What a performance. You're a great fake actress. Enough. You should probably slap him. But the real show starts now. It's time for Act 2. Where is Setzer? I should have saved before going in the opera house. What are you doing here? You're not Maria, are you? We need your help. We need to get to Vector. If you're not Maria, then we have nothing to- Just kill him! We heard that your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you were the world's greatest gambler. <laughs> Gao has nothing to add. I'm the king of Figaro. If you help us, you'll be well rewarded. Then you'll... Don't misunderstand me, I still haven't said I'll help you. Oh no. Business has been awfully slow lately thanks to the Empire. You're not the only one suffering. The Empire's been toppling towns, villages left and right. They're abusing their magic power and trying to take over the world. My kingdom was allied with the Empire until recently. Edgar, you do not have much important things to add to this conversation. And then Gao doesn't say anything. We're at least together in hating the Empire, right? So please. You know, I think you might even be cuter than Maria, huh? Don't blush at that. All right, if you, Celeste, becomes my wife, I'll help you. What are you, crazy? Lock slash a back. On one condition. We flip this coins. We flip this coin. If it's heads, you help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Edgar just shoots it out of the air to perfectly make it land on heads. Well, Mr. Gambler. If you marry that guy. Ready? I mean, you have magic. Heads, I win. A valuable trinket indeed. I've never seen a double-headed coin before. I'm afraid you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler, but that's part of the game now, isn't it? Bro could appreciate a, uh... Yeah, bro can appreciate a good bit, honestly. That's iconic. Gambling against the Empire? Oh my god, it's the gambling arc. Real? 
With nothing to lose but my life, I haven't felt so excited in years. My life's a chip in your pile. Ante up. I can't believe this clunky old thing can fly. You'll sure it'll stay in the air? When things fall, they fall. Life's a game of chance. You play your cards and fl fate plays hers. They'll spot us in the air from miles away if we fly this thing into the Empire. We better land a safe distance away. That sounds like a good idea. I'll stay on board and keep the ship ready to take off at a moment's notice. I... I think this is a one-way trip, isn't it? Listen, we gotta get these espers, alright? Because if we don't get these espers for, uh, for Terra, she's gonna go, like, supersonic mode and then, like, punch the Earth. And just, it'll, like, crack in half. Sort of like Kirby doing the karate chop, right? And she'll just, like, punch the Earth. It'll start cracking in half. And then the most powerful Esper, Dark Gaia, will come out of the center of the Earth. And then we're gonna have to go on, like, a multi, uh, sort of, like, pseudo-space, but also, like, interplanetary, well, interplanet adventure, where we fly from one broken continent to the next so that we can try to get the artifacts to kill Dark Gaia. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, so that was a, a heck of a thing that happened. Um... I feel like this is a perfect place to stop the game for now. Oh my god, Kappa? I'm a big fan. Um, I think this is a perfect place to stop for now. I wanted to go for about like 30 more minutes, but I, I think it's just kind of like arbitrary, you know? So, um, we will do another episode before Friday to make up for the fact, because I, I wanted to do, I, I wanted to do either a two hour episode now or like two episodes because I missed a Friday. So we're gonna we're gonna do another episode before Friday. It'll take like the I don't know the pathless spot probably not. It'll be random throughout the week. But uh, yeah, I wanted to make up for the fact that uh, I didn't do a, a thing uh, earlier. So we'll we'll do another episode um, earlier than Friday, and then we'll do an episode on Friday. And also, I think I've decided on the next game that's gonna be a part of the variety arc. But anyways, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.